Facebook, what's going on? She got Professor Smell Good. Coming to you guys live here at my shop, 700 Shane in East Lafayette, side of the Family Fair Marketplace. All right. How you doing? Now, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you guys how to pour Egyptian musk. I'm gonna show you guys how to pour Egyptian musk, a thick one, okay? Because, and I'll, I'm gonna tell you what actually made me come up with this. Because the last video that I actually uh, just uploaded, a customer came to me and she took me around in the circles and it's absolutely fine. She said, I love the smell of candy kisses for you. She said, oh, that smells good. And then she said, you got an Egyptian musk? So I said, yeah. She smelled that and she said, give me that one. Hey, hey, now you going? Right. And so I poured it for her, right? I poured it too quick, and guess what? I'm going to mess up this bottle, sir, just so you can see. If you pour the Egyptian mug, you see how thick it is? If you pour it too quick, this is what's going to happen, just like this. If you pour it too quick like this, that, that's what's going to happen. See that? that, that that's what's going to happen. If you pour it too quick, that's exactly what's going to happen, all right? I messed up a bottle just to show you guys. It's all good, though. Now... That's what you see that right there. It's not a hole there to actually pour the Egyptian musk in there. All right, because if you try to pour it in there, it's going to spill again because Egyptian musk is so thick that it needs the whole entire hole, and you have to pour it exactly in the hole to get it in. But you got to pour it slow. And I'm gonna show you. All right, so I messed that bottle up. Don't worry about that one. All right, put that one to the side over there. That looked pretty nice the way it's on the camera. Huh? Cool. All right, now. You see how it's dripping down? All right, now, this is how you pour it. See this, look. You pour it slow. You gotta take your time. You gotta take your time. See? When it gets to that point like this, all right, boom, and then you lift it up. That's the way you do it, just like that. If you turn it down like this, if you turn it over, and then it's gonna get thicker and it's gonna go fast, all right? And then it's going to get thicker. But what you want to do is you want to lift it up. Let it just drop down. That's the way you want it. Let it drop down. And don't let it hit the sides. Because if you let it hit the sides, it's going to accumulate and it's going to um, clog. It's going to, it's going to clog the, uh, the bubble. If, if that's the way, if, if I'm trying to explain it the best way I could, it's kind of like going to clog the bubble. And so when it clogs, you're not going to be able to pour in. It's going to have a big bubble. So there it is. It's going to have a big bubble, right? It's going to have a big bubble in there. And then when you pour it on top, it's going to be some space in between. If you pour it and it hit the side. So pour it straight down. Straight down, just like I did, all right? All right, so. And I, I know some people who have had Egyptian musk for years, right? They master this specific technique. Matter of fact, not only with Egyptian musk, but all of the thick oils. You want to apply this with all of the thick oils, okay? That's how you pour the thick oils, all right? So, I'm going to show you again. You see, since this bottle, the hole opened up now, okay? So, I can do it now. So, I'm going to show you with this one, all right? So, that one is already done. I'm going to put that one over there, all right? Do it again. You see this? You see the bottle? Pour it. When it's coming down, then you lift it up. It's coming down. Now lift it up. There you go. Boom. All right. Do not let it hit the sides. Let it let it go straight down the middle. That's how you pour it. All right. You want to make it. You want to make it look like honey. All right. Don't don't let it hit the outside. All right. Straight down in the middle. All right. So that's the second example, all right? So that's how you pour the thick oils, okay? Any thick oil, whether it be red Egyptian musk, um, Egyptian musk, whether it be dark green African musk, whether it be 24 karat Egyptian musk, um, any black musk, any oil that's thick, you wanna apply the same methods, okay? Same methods, all right? Thank you very much, Professor Smell Good, How to Pour Egyptian Musk.